there's an amazing clip that I'm about to show you. Um, making fun of Dave Rubin is, let's be honest, one of the favorite things of left-wing YouTubers to do. For good reason. For good reason. So this is, uh, you know, Dave fancies himself a comedian. Or at least he was a comedian. And you're going to see why maybe he had to transition into political commentary and not do comedy, primarily. Because uh, here's a little bit of a compilation of Dave doing stand-up. I'm a little different in comedy form. It's coming back. I mean, I used to do this. This is what I did. Okay. I forgot that I'm good at this. All right. Doesn't that seem weird that gays now hate the Mormons? Like, a Mormon wants to have a lot of wives, and I want to fuck one dude. Why are we fighting? What are we fighting over? What are we fighting over? Thank you for that smile, sir. That was a very supportive smile. Very good. So is this your lady right here? Are you in a lady mode? Do you go in modes? I'm always wondering about the bisexuals. No. No. You, so you just, you don't... Lesbians giving other lesbians flowers. Have you ever heard anything more beautiful than that? Obviously you have. Oh, you have a... F I'm feeling a lot's going to happen between you two. This woman and this man right there. Dan Abrams' cock is huge. What? Okay. You have your foot up his balls. If I know anything about gays, it's that they don't want monogamy. No. Good night, everybody. No. Did I lose you there? No. Too heartfelt, right? We went a little delay here. What happened? You were with me. Now I needed you. That's where I could have used you for a second, and you were drinking Amstel Light, the beer of lesbians. Yeah. That I would tell you, there is something in Wolf Blitzer's beard that you don't want to see when you're, when you're still in. So are we excited? Obama is the... No, you're cold. You're just a cold... You're cold. You know that the gays are cold. That they don't. They fear the cold. The gays. Gays love water, but fear the cold. Exciting. I. Uh, I'm very happy. We had the comics are literally so excited. As I walked out, one of the comedians said to me, "How gay are you going to be for this show?" Which I think that's that's a sign, don't you think? Okay, we'll edit laughter in there. So. <laughs> Good grammar. Lychee. I got some lychee. I'm, I'm not kidding. As I had it in my mouth, she said to me, Dave, you know, that has the same consistency as vagina. <laughs> and I've been out of the game for probably 10 years. And can anyone else confirm that? Is it, is it a heavy uh, vagina uh, feeling? It brings me nothing but happiness to know that I'm funnier than Dave Rubin and I'm not a comedian. Never wanted to be a comedian, but I'm significantly funnier than Dave Rubin, and that makes my day. Without even trying, I'm way funnier than Dave Rubin. I want to make fun of him, but let's let's be kind. I don't know why I'm being kind, but I'm going to be kind. Comedy is really hard, man. It really is. And the thing that I learned, um, first of all, it's easy to, to be funny on like the show because there's no pressure. There's no pressure. There's no people who are directly in front of me right now, and I don't have, like, I don't have the tyrannical thought of needing to make them laugh right now, like, right this instant. Because if you tell me, like, do the thing that makes me laugh, I'm probably not going to be able to do it well. Because you can't do it on command. Comedy is such, like, a visceral thing that you can't, it's hard to do it on command. And so when people can make other people laugh on command, they're really a master of this, you know? Um, so I could be inadvertently funny. Um, but to be put on the spot is much more difficult. But here's what I learned from the few times I actually did, kind of did stand up. What I learned is the punchline is never really the thing that you think it's going to be. So I've given a few best man speeches in my time. In one of them, I cried like a bitch. It was really pathetic and incredibly embarrassing. Um, and then there was one other where... I, I didn't cry, and I was able to kind of do what was basically a stand-up routine. I didn't intend it that way when I started giving the speech, but the speech was, like, kind of funny. And as I was telling the story, I was getting some fucking good laughs, man. But the thing I realized is the lines that I thought would get the biggest reactions didn't. And some of the lines that I thought were just, like, throwaway lines got huge laughs. And so, yes, what I learned at that point in time is that it's definitely more of an art than a science comedy. You got to feel it out. 
You gotta like, the other thing, I mean, obviously timing is everything. So the line needs to be funny, but also your timing and your cadence and your rhythm to how you speak is so important. Um, and without that, you got nothing. And so in the case of Dave Rubin, you know, why exactly is he so colossally unfunny? I don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, his timing's not great, but I also don't think it's terrible. I do think the material is just not good at all. But, yeah, I don't know. But he is phenomenally unfunny. And it is it is pretty sad that me, <laughs> I'm somehow funnier than him, and I've never wanted to be a comedian, never thought of myself that way. But effortlessly, I'm funnier than him. Corin is a zillion times funnier than Dave Rubin. Um, so it's good he made the career switch, and we all know exactly why he made the career switch. The problem is he's just as bad, if not worse, at political commentary. <laughs>